The mega earthquake of April 2015 destroyed most of the health posts across Sindhu Palsok district. Many of the healthcare centers were delivering their healthcare services through tents, tarpaulin, and damaged health posts. American Nepal Medical Foundation came up with an idea of rebuilding 12th health post across Sindhu Palsok district. Currently, the project that we are doing are the two university teaching hospital oxygen plant project. Uh, then we are doing uh, Chautara prefabricated structure. Uh, recently completed uh, the flood relief campaign that happened last year in the Tarai district. And we are also doing the health post rebuilding project. Namaste and good morning from Sindhu Baljik district. I am Dr. Pomawati Thapar. I am a senior consultant general practitioner. Uh, I have been working here uh, in Sindhu Baljik district since the last five months as a uh, district health officer. Uh, I have completed my MBBS from uh, Bangladesh and did my MD from B Hospital Lambs. And I am enrolled into this uh, government service since the last uh, 15 years. Since I was posted here five months back, uh, one of uh, one of those prefab was already uh, built up, and uh, when I was here, uh, the construction of the second uh, prefab building was started, and it took uh, around two to three months. Uh, it was uh, really very really fast to complete uh, to be completed. So we have been uh, shifted to this uh, new prefab building since the last uh, one and a half months and we have been uh, providing service from there. It has affected uh, very positively to us uh, uh, for this uh, district uh, hospital in Sindhu Baljan because uh, we have seen uh, the many ups and downs since the last uh, mega earthquake. Uh, we have uh, and given these services to the patients uh, from the open air to the uh, uh, to the tents and then we shifted to the uh, tin shed and finally we are shifted to this prefab building so uh, during this journey we have seen a lot of ups and downs and uh, finally now we are so happy and the patients are also uh, happy seen happy to be uh, shifted in this uh, prefab building right now. It has been a, a great help for us because we were serving patients through our tents and uh, the tin shed. And uh, as this, uh, this has been constructed, uh, we are seeing that uh, we, we are uh, now shifted to the new building and we are like feeling like we are uh, serving the patients in a good way. And also we feel that patients are happy to be served in that prefab building because it's new and the flooring is good and uh, the aviation and lighting is also good in that prefab building. So definitely we as well the patients of uh, Sindhu Bajak district is happy for that. Infrastructure is not good because of this uh, earthquake. We are not able to upgrade this hospital into a bigger one but definitely in future uh, we are planning to upgrade this uh, into a 50 bedded hospital. I am very happy to be here in Sindhu Bajik district because it was really affected by earthquake. Uh, as I came here, I was really worried how to uh, go ahead, how to proceed ahead. But uh, as I knew that American Medical Foundation is helping us for the infrastructure, I was really happy on that. Uh, I'd like to thank American Nepal Medical Foundation a lot for that because uh, now at the present uh, we are, I, especially I'm feeling like I'm working in a hospital, not in a tent. Uh, that's a very good uh, for us. The building of health post in Sindhu Palchok has already been completed. The structure was built in a total area of 2,378 square feet with total of Rs. 88,53,746 spent. The Chautara prefabricated structure has started delivering the healthcare services including male and female ward and emergency ward of the district hospital. The heavy monsoon rainfall during the August of 2017 triggered severe flash floods and landslides in many districts of the Rai region. An initial rapid assessment conducted in 
28 district revealed that flood and landslide claimed 141 lives injuring 117 people the flood displaced 460900 people left 24 missing not only that but 65000 households were completely destroyed and 120100 households were partially damaged the first relief campaign conducted at Sunseri district helped 75 families who were victimized by the flood. They were provided with basic commodities like food packages, soap, mattress, water filter tablets and buckets. Right after the first relief campaign, the second relief campaign was conducted at Rongili municipality in partnership with Arx Foundation. Out of 6,119 families, 1,047 families were affected, to which America Nepal Medical Foundation managed to provide the affected families with the basic commodities. Oxygen संबंधी काम चाहिए अब शुरुआत देखने गौरी को है रा मलाई यो काम चाहिए हाल समझे एकदम संतुष्टि नहीं चुकी ऑक्सीजन मानने भी नहीं कोई पॉइंटो प्राथमिक डॉक्टर किनभने यहाँको बिरामी भनेको बाहिरबाट भ्याजी भन्दा बाहिरको बिरामी नै धेरै जस्तो आउँछ तपाईको हेलिकप्टरमा यहाँ चार्टर गरेर कति बिरामी आइरहेको हुन्छ टाडा टाडा नै उनीहरुको अवस्थामा चाहिँ तपाईको धेरै नाजुक अवस्थाको बिरामीलाई चाहिँ राख्ने भनेको आईसीयू ओटी एमआईसीयू यस्तो ठाउँमा चाहिँ एकदम अक्सिजनको चाहिँ अब अभाव भएको हुनाले अहिले चाहिँ आउने यो प्लान्ट चाहिँ हामीलाई चाहिँ उनीहरुकै लागि भनेर चाहिँ यो आईसीयू ओटी सप्लाई गर्ने भनेर नै राख्न खोजिरहेको छु अक्सिजनको खासै पैसा चाहिँ लिँदैन यसमा तपाईको अक्सिजन चार्ज चाहिँ हामीले बाहिर किन्नु पर्यो नि पर सिलिन्डर 6 700 लिन्छ हैन हामीले यहाँबाट सिलिन्डर दिदा चाहिँ हामीले उनीहरुलाई फ्री जस्तै हो तपाईको लगभग मिक्स चार्ज भनेर नर्सको डाक्टरको अक्सिजनको ड्रेसिङको यताउति जोडेर जम्मा 2 3 6 मात्रै लिने गरेको छ त्यो पनि एकदम नर्मली रेट हो त्यो तपाईको बाहिर सिलिन्डर प्राइभेटमा हो नि एउटा सिलिन्डरको 1200 चाहे त्यो सिलिन्डर सिद्धियोस् नसिद्धियोस् पेसेन्टलाई लगाएपछि उनीहरुलाई 1200 लिन्छ तर हामी यहाँ त्यस्तो छैन हामीले चाहिँ तपाईको लगभग अक्सिजन त फ्रीमा जस्तै हो त्यही भएर यो आउने प्लान्टले चाहिँ बिरामीहरुको लागि चाहिँ धेरै राहत पुर्याउने भन्ने चाहिँ मलाई आशा लागेको छ यसरी नै हामीलाई सबै ठाउँबाट चाहिँ सपोर्ट भयो डोनेट यसरी डोनेसन आइरह्यो भने यो हस्पिटल चाहिँ अब जस्तो हामीले यो हस्पिटललाई चाहिँ अझ राम्रो गर्दै जाने सक्ने थियो भन्ने मलाई लागिरहेको छ जस्तो अहिले जापानीजहरुले डिजन भाछ एमआरआई दिनु भयो पहिले यहाँ सीएसटी मेसिनहरु दिनु भयो तपाईहरुले अक्सिजन प्लान्ट दिनु भयो यहाँ अझ पनि अरु पुरोधारहरु पनि अति आवश्यकता भइसकेको छ र अहिलेको जेनेरेसन अनुसारले यो हाम्रो यो 40 साल 40 42 सालको चाहिँ जनसंख्याको आधारमा मलाई लाग्छ जो नेपालको सबैभन्दा ठूलो हस्पिटल टिचिङ हस्पिटल नै हो र यो यो टिचिङ हस्पिटलले चाहिँ हुम्ला जुम्ला देखि लिएर कर्णाली देखि लिएर विभिन्न ठाउँका दिन दुखी बिरामीहरुलाई पनि सहयोग पुग्छ भन्ने चाहिँ मलाई एकदम आशा associate professor. What we have seen like is uh, there are a large number of uh, liver failure patients who require liver transplants. So till date what people have been doing in Nepal is they, those who can afford 
they all have been going to India, one of the bigger you know, private hospitals where they get transplanted. And now the problem is like when they go to India, this is a big, big expenditure. The cost uh, of getting transplanted is, and for uh, average Nepali people is beyond you know, imagine, imagination. So when I came back, then I thought if we could start this program in our home, you know, this hospital, then the, probably the cost of the you know, transplant for the patients can be, you know, can be cut down so significantly. So I would say around you know, 60 to 80 patients per year we will be getting uh, transplanted. We would require transplant in a hospital. We may not be able to give the you know, to service to the whole you know, patients in the beginning, but when we start it, maybe next one or two years time, we should be able to cater more than 50, 60 patients in a year if the program goes on very well. When I returned back in late 2014 after completing my this transplant training, when I came here and then I knew there were so many challenges. I still have got challenges. I'm not saying I accomplished all. There were so many challenges. The first one is to, you know, it's, it's a big project with a very good, you need a very big team, a very good teamwork. And you need experienced people in every other specialities related with transplants. So initially I thought, okay, I need to build a team. It's not just me who is going to start this program. Look, I'm very, very thankful and very grateful it's not just me, my whole team members, and the, even my hospital. You, you all know how difficult it is to arrange all these you know, financial things. Even you want to do something, there's always a constraint of finances. So I think it's, in this, it's a very big mission for us. It's a very big project. It's a very it's a deep project. Not just my, but my team members, the whole hospitals. You know, this, this program, if it gets established, is going to be one of the most prestigious programs of three months, which is in hospital. So whoever has helped us in this mission will be very much appreciated, will be very thankful. And especially the NM effort, they came for us. I approached them, but they were so helpful and supportive in this sense. And, and there was no, nobody even had a second thought that they should not be helping us. Everybody came for us and they were readily available to help us. I'm really, really very thankful to all the, the members of uh, ANMF. On 5th of September, we started our observancy program in Atlanta. I was posted in Emory Hospital. During that uh, transplant program, we had a couple of good exposures. Like I get to see around 12 to 13 liver transplant cases, both pre and post transplant cases. Other than that, there were a lot of cases, around 30 cases, uh, where the patient were being prepared for liver transplant. Uh, liver disease patient who had planned for liver transplant and who had liver transplant long time back and were in ICU for other causes. Procurement of organic disease organ donor. So this is, a, as we all know, this is one of the part of liver transplant program and fortunately we could see organ procurement from disease organ donor. So as a whole we could see whole package of the liver transplant from organ procurement to preparation of liver transplant to liver transplantation itself. He even had, um, uh, made arrangements that we could go to theater and observe the liver transplant patient post renal transplant so we could see all and that was very helpful to us uh, to learn about the liver transplant program so we are very grateful to american nepal medical foundation from bottom of our heart because this would not have been possible without uh, the generous contribution of american nepal medical foundation because of various things like logistic thing and the financial things so because of American Nepal Medical Foundation, we could arrange our observership in a prestigious university like Emory University and there was substantial financial help so that we could get exposure in a, one of the best centers in North America about the liver transplant and learn about it in, in their setup. So I really think that uh, with this exposure and with this help of American Nepal Medical Foundation, I will be able to contribute something to the development of liver transplant program in Nepal and hopefully we can get a sustainable liver transplant program in Nepal. I am Dr. Zaidir Dasaudri. I've done uh, MCS from NAMS in GI surgery and working as a consultant GI surgeon. And at that time we, we got opportunity, opportunity to do uh, visit uh, this uh, 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 hospital in uh, Seattle under Professor uh, Alexander Fisera and 
uh, that was quite helpful, I think, uh, because uh, since uh, after that uh, we we are uh, uh, regularly doing uh, some sort of uh, laparoscopic, uh, uh, advanced laparoscopic, especially colorectal surgery and hernia surgery. Uh, definitely, that program helped help, help us uh, so much. Uh, we had. I had the opportunity to observe a lot of uh, laparoscopic colorectal cases over there uh, because uh, they were doing quite uh, quite a lot uh, cases and they have high volume of colorectal cases over, over there yeah, and they were doing all sort of laparoscopic colorectal surgery like uh, right hemi colectomy, left hemi colectomy, APR, all those they were doing was uh, laparoscopic. So that uh, helped us, uh, helped me. Uh, uh, learn the skills of lap uh, laparoscopic colorectal surgery and uh, uh, thank you to all uh, those uh, who are involved in uh, this program, especially Dr. Sujit Pandey, uh, a member of ANM and uh, Dr. Sa Sa Sangeeta uh, who supported uh, this uh, program. Uh, because uh, because of uh, this training only, uh, we could uh, start uh, the advanced laparoscopic surgery in our uh, institu uh, institution. By helping us, they are helping those uh, poor patients, and I think uh, that is uh, commendable. The invaluable contribution from the donor of America put together with the execution of American Nepal Medical Foundation team has always been able to make remarkable impact on the innocent lives for which the people of Nepal will always be more than thankful.